Welcome back to the channel where today's daily challenge is North Crater. Earn five drift skills at the top of La Grand Caldera. Now, it's still another minute until it opens, uh, but we have the one from the first day of the festival playlist, Collaboration Complete a Horizon Tour. So I'm going to head on over there, and I'm using something from my Twitter that I have on there, and it tells you what Horizon Tours are coming up, which is really neat. So I'm trying to get into... Let's see, not this one, which is Horizon Tour, and it's exactly spot on. But I'm going to wait 44 seconds and get into the, I'll predict it, watch, there it is. The next one's going to be S1900 Ford Horizon Wilds, a scramble, a trail, and a scramble, okay? 30 seconds from now, that's what it'll be. So it's really cool. It's from, um, let me see here, Equinox, A-E-Q-N-X. And it says, someone used the data I compiled for Horizon Tour and built a website that syncs with in-game and you can easily filter for your desired PI class. So, that's what I was using. And three, two, one. S1900 Ford, Horizon Wilds. I love it. So, I'm going to jump into this one. And the reason is, what I when I first started up the game today, it was like B700 Cross Country. Eh, not as good. Then it was like A800 circuit racing. Eh, not bad. But this for me, the only thing that could be better if it was S1, 900, anything goes, Horizon Wilds. So what we need to do is we need to get in here and pick our car. So we are going to Wilds. What do we want to use? Probably this one. This is probably my best bet as far as S1, 900 goes. It really sucks that the... Hoonigans, you can't use them as Fords. Eh, it is what it is. So, of course, I've got the Forza Edition Ford Puma with the Ken Block livery. Ooh. Can that Mustang hang? Ooh, I don't know. Ooh, we got another Forza Edition. Nice. Let's look at people's actual performance index numbers. I like the wheels on the Bronco. I like the two-door Bronco. Amazing. Okay, here. We've got three 900s and an 890. So, not bad. Alright, let's focus up here. Let's get it. Oh, nice launch. I'm in second place for our team. That's where I'm starting, which is nice. That Bronco is ripping. Also, what's nice about Horizon Tour, there's no wall collision, slowdown crap. Which I don't abuse it here. I call it ping-ponging. There's some guys that... Here's my arch nemesis checkpoint. Uh, some guys really like to ping-pong just back and forth. Basically basically a bumper car. If I if I can, I try to stay off the wall. I mean, I'm... I'm hitting it, but whatever. Who else can? Sometimes in extreme situations, I'll use a wall to shoot me around a corner at like one specific track. Which I think is fun. But it's really hard to race fast and clean, especially when everybody else isn't. I don't know what's behind me. I can't figure it out. Is it the focus? I don't know. Our team's going to win, which is good. I told you this thing was good. This thing goes like 200. See that? All through there. Just, just tapping that wall. Nothing major. Clean. Can't tell you how frustrating it is to miss that particular checkpoint. So I make sure I make it now. It, I hit the wall in the same few places. Nice. One more lap to go. can't really stretch my legs here because it is a circuit, but I'm doing pretty good. This is a pretty fast track for S1 100 cars. No wall hit. Nice. Finish. Throwing it across there with a little style. Oh, the other Puma. Nice. 
I like it. I thought those lights were as, like a white hood, and I couldn't understand what it was. But no, they're just lights. Two people quit on us. The GT500 stayed. Wow. I don't understand the uh, Ford GT, though, on their team. Maybe I gotta make one. I gotta make something out of that Ford GT. If I would have went that way, I probably would have done pretty good because I've, I've done that before. If I could rewind, I would. I wish it would tell you who was in first and who finishes first. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself. I may have done it. We'll see. Nope, there's somebody. There's somebody else. Can I beat them? Yes. Okay. So I got second, maybe. That was my own fault. Oof. <clears throat> I think I have the advantage here. Starting first for my team so I can get that nice lead. Whoa, the GT500 with the push. I think he's fast here, but he's not fast in the dirt. There we go. All right, so back in front, now that we have some uh, Dirte under our tires, we're kind of getting pushed a little bit by the other Puma. He probably has a good tune as well. I was flat-footed through there using both the regular brake and the e-brake slightly. What a dance. Okay, here we go. Through the water. Throw it sideways here, touch the wall, lose the combo, but not lose the race. That's what we don't want to do. Slide that e-brake, there we go. Nice, nice little grind tap there, a little bit, just a little bit. I think I put a little distance on him. So that's good. Woo! Almost lost it. Yep, yep, there we go. What a... Oh, what a mess up there. Got super lucky and caught my checkpoints while I was wrecking. There we go. Same, uh, same scene as before. Forza Edition Ford Puma 1 and 2. Is it, is it here? <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> That's funny. What the heck? All right, starting first again. All right, so now this one's a scramble. Teo to walking. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Remember, get through all the lap traffic. I, th that dude, I don't know what kind of car he has. Those things are insane. I guess they don't have any traction in the dirt. What the heck? He has the launch of a thousand suns. Now, if they were close to me, they'd catch up here. Because of the uh, asphaltness. Oh no, he's here. Okay, I gotta, I gotta try to go as fast as I can. He is ripping, dude. Touch the wall. Don't miss that checkpoint. Ooh, this car is not as good as some of my other ones. As far as, like, making a quick change of direction. I could have done that a lot better. One lap. Under our belts. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Kind of steering with the rear, got the e-brake going. I love this part through here. So fast, jumping. Woo. Nice little touch, nice little tap. That was a collision. Let's see if we can make this corner. 
Who's ahead of him? The, the Puma put it on him. Nice. He's coming for me. I don't think he can make it. I'm pretty fast through here. Never hit the wall. Back the other way. Oh, it's doing that thing where at least it's overcorrect. Gotta make this turn here. Good. This is this is where it's at right here, guys. Like that. Oh, he's here. He's super here. Is this gonna be the time where we pass the torch to the next Puma? Is he gonna have it? I don't know. I sure hope not. There he goes. He's winner, winner, chicken dinner. Look at him. He's so excited to have it. Couple tricks on him there. What happened? What happened? He was there and then he wasn't. He must have missed a checkpoint. Oh man. I was pushing pretty good at the last third, let's say, of that lap. Woo! There we go. One, two, three victories in the Horizon Tour. That's right. I challenge you guys to do the same. It is very possible. It is very possible. First try. All wins. Horizon Tour. You'd love to see it. Alright, so let's wait here so we can get our confirmation that we've completed Thursday's Daily Challenge. There it is. Horizon Tour complete. Completed Horizon Tour. And this one is now complete. So there we go. We've got some, we got some things uh, checked off our list there. Now, we have to go up to the top of La Grand Caldera and earn five drift skills. And we can do that in the car we're in right now. So I'm gonna fast travel. There's La Grand Caldera. They mean right here. I'm gonna go there, just around the lake and see if we can throw this sideways in the snow. Do a little bit of a lap around here. Drift, drift. There it is. I don't even know how that went that fast, but there you go. Earn five drift skills at the top of La Grand Caldera. So, let's do a little bit of accounting, which I like to do. Tomorrow, we need to take a photo of another vehicle. So, we're going to finally be able to get to one of these event labs. I'm going to pair that for you guys tomorrow. I'll leave the rest of the week uh, a mystery for now. I'm not going to get too far into it, but I just want to say this. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the views, and uh, I can't wait to play some more. We only have one more season of Japanese Automotive. Oh, I just got a sneak peek. Next week's challenge car is a Civic, the one in the game that's closest to mine, the next gen of uh, the Civic hatchback. So that'll be cool. And then we're going to have another Horizon Wilds takeover. So we're giving, oh, yeah, the stunt park. Okay amazing i'm gonna leave it there can't wait that's that to me that month is going to be as good as getting the expansion the next uh the next dlc because that stunt park is super super fun like i said thanks for watching i will see you guys tomorrow in the next one later